guys good to have you all back it has been a while since i have introduced myself on my channel but i have a couple of new subscribers so let me introduce myself my name is margaret i am from the netherlands that makes me dutch yeah that's why i have the accent uh on my channel i do paper crafting junk journal projects lots of vintage treasure hunting uh i post at least five times a week and sometimes on a Sunday, I share all my lovely treasures with you guys. So welcome to my channel. I hope you will enjoy the videos. Now, let's get uh, to uh, today's project. Today, I want to use scrapbook paper. Now, I have sort of three categories of scrapbook paper. Yeah, let me show you. I have the scrapbook paper that I love. I love this so much. This is Tim Holtz. He doesn't make them anymore. Boo. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. So, but you know, uh, I love them. I love, love, love this. Then I have scrapbook paper that I dislike a lot. Why did I buy these? These are like very bright images with foil on them and such. And why, why on earth did you buy these? And I actually have a lot of these. Um, I do use them. I do use them. I stopped buying these completely, guys. Why? Why? In the beginning, when I started paper crafting, I went uh, to Action. Action is like uh, the Dutch Dollar Tree. And you can pick these up for about 3 euros, which is very, very cheap. And if you're starting out, fine. But buy some of them and not all of them. I used to buy all of them. I use those. How am I using those? Sometimes I just, you know, collage over them. Just use them as sort of very heavy good quality well okay quality cardstock yeah that's what i use them for also i have some pads that are single sided now i'm a very lucky girl my printer i have an epson workforce 7840 a3 printer because i have to answer this question on a daily basis uh, my printer prints out on a3 size which means it will print on this so I can put my own, I can make my own scrapbook paper. Yeah. So love it a lot. Do not love it at all. Then I have the scrapbook paper that I like. Like this. It says grunge. Yeah. These, this is way more uh, what, what I like. More neutral-ish. Not very bright. Um, well, you know, it has some florals. And so I don't like, I don't like every page in here. But some I really, really like. But I want to love them. I want to love them. So I am going to take a couple of pages out of my scrapbook pad, of which I have oh, about 50. It's ridiculous. Guys, stop buying them. <laughs> you don't need 50 of them. Um, I'm mainly talking to myself, guys. And I'm going to sort of zhuzh them up and make it fantastic. So take out some um, of your scrapbook paper that you like but don't love and we're going to make it so we're gonna love it let me show you the supplies that i'm using for today and uh, let's start creating so for papers i'm using scrapbook paper i have already torn out a couple of pages out of different books uh, that i thought i might like like a neutralist sort of grungy background yeah don't use a background that already has a lovely sort of design on it just something like this i do enjoy this i do enjoy this it's very neutral has some florals on the background that's quite all right i think this is a little bit too wide maybe maybe and this is a little bit too brown i want this to be in a sort of a grayish tone it's going to be not colorful yeah this one love this one absolutely love it yeah uh, but it could do with some design on it. So I'm using this one. And this is this the same one? Actually, is this the same one? No, it's not. These came from different paper pads. It's a little, it's slightly a darker color, but it's basically the same one. So yeah, action just repurposes its designs. Okay, so um, scrapbook paper, grungy sort of neutralish background. Yeah. Pick some, pick some out. I am going to be stenciling on them and stamping on them. I'm not going to be gluing on them. Now, I want this to be sort of neutral because I want to use it as such. Yeah, so you can maybe add a little bit to it later on. 
uh, so I'm going to be stenciling. I, this is, I don't have a lot of stencils, guys. It's not really my thing. Uh, well, well, I'm trying to. So I'm taking out some of my uh, stencils. Yeah, so I'm going to be stenciling. And I'm going to be stamping. Now, I'm going to use my fancy stuff. Yeah. Just because I'm using my fancy stuff doesn't mean you'll have to. Yeah? If you're just starting out, you probably have a couple of stamps. I'm challenging you to be creative. Yes? Look at your stamp. See what you can use. Sometimes you have a stamp, let's say, with a flower on it. But also a little bit of text or a number or what have you. Just then use the, num the piece with the text or the number or... Be creative, guys. Be creative. So I'm using lots of my uh, Tim Holtz stamp sets. I don't know which ones exactly, but we'll, I'll mention it when I use them. So my stencils, my stamps. Yeah. Um, for colors. This is my color scheme at the moment. I want to do sort of a monotone background with grays and such. So I'm using a hickory smoke. Pumice Stone from um, Mr. Tim Holtz. And then I'm using Morning Mist and Fallen Leaves. I want this to be neutralish grayish. But if you have like a beautiful um, piece of scrapbook paper that has a greenish undertone, use your greens. Yeah, use... Uh, let me get some out. Use Ice Spruce Bundled Sage and Old Paper. Yeah, go, go this route. Whatever. Or maybe you want something in pink. Or you can do this in any style and any color that you like. For the tools, I'm using uh, my stamp blocks. <laughs> and uh, a brush, blending brush. Not even scissors, not glue, not anything. I might use some tape to tape down the stencils for stamp. But probably not even this. Yeah? So, um, I'm going to take out a piece of the paper. And we're going to layer it. I'm going to layer it, starting with the background and then layer it up. I'm going to start with stenciling. Now, I have um, colors that are sort of ranging from very light to a little bit darker. I'm starting with the lightest one. Now, I have a lighter gray than this. I have Lost Shadow, but Lost Shadow seems to get lost every time I use it. So, no to the Lost Shadow. So, I'm starting with Pumice Stone. Now, I am thinking I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use just these three, maybe even two. One of my favorite, this is from Gumiapan. Isn't that, that is um, something Scandinavian. I thought someone told me it was something to do with a goat. I don't know, <laughs> Gumiapan. And this is from uh, Studio Light. Just, uh, I'm not going to do florals in the background, just, you know, some... Stuff. I might do this one from Stamperia. Sort of bricks or stones or, or what have you. Yeah. So I'm going to do the stenciling starting with this one. Okay. Brush. This doesn't need to be a uh, precise love. No. Just starting out somewhere. And uh, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. I'm hoping... It uh, shows up on camera. I'm just putting random stuff down in the lightest color. Just to have it as a little bit of a background. Little piece here. Just pieces of it. Some dots here. Something here. Random. Random. Now I'm going to take out a piece of paper to put underneath. Because I also want to sort of have it uh, off the page. I think that is very important to have um, stamps and stencils that sort of go off your page. It makes it look a little bit more, um, well, natural. Okay, first layer. Let me see. I'm going to stand up and see. Oh, yes, you can see it. Lovely, right? Yes. I'm going to say you could be done. You could be done a couple of times. Um, for my next one, this one, I'm using a slightly darker color. I'm going to go Hickory Smoke. Hickory Smoke. It's going to see if this will come off. There you go. Just in some spots in between. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. It 
If you press harder, it's going to be darker. If you press less hard, it's going to be lighter. Yes, it's physics. There you go. I don't want to use the exact same sort of design every time. So I'm just trying to switch it up a little bit. Put some here and there also off the page. See, have it sort of in a corner of the page. Looks more um, sort of all nutritious and interesting. Yeah, doesn't need any more here on the bottom. With this one, I'm just turning it about. I'm going to do a, a couple of other layers, but with those, um, I want to have it all in sort of the same direction. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Might not. Do we need a little, well, a little bit more here in, in this corner here? There you go. I think that's it for the stenciling. It's already way lovelier, isn't it? I think so. I think so. Okay, that's it for the stenciling. Now I'm going to switch to stamping. The stamping is going to be another layer of a background. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to take some stuff out and see where we're going to place it. Now with the first background, you can basically go sort of in any direction that you want. Um, at this point, I'm deciding what direction do I want to go um, in. So what is sort of going to be my focal point on this? And I have decided on uh, moths. I'm going to have these as the focal point. Now the focal point I want to have in the darkest color. So these are going to be on at the at the end. Yes, so I want these. And I want to pair these probably with some numbers. So numbers and moths. Um, but the first uh, layer that I'm going to do now is going to be in the lighter colors. These are the darker colors. This is going to be the moths. Yes, and these are probably going to be some numbers. So um, if you are stenciling with these colors, they are lighter than if you were to stamp with them. I'm going to show you. I want to use, there's a, this is, uh, what's it called? It's a newer one. Well, it's actually an old one, but a newer one to me. I have um, decided to sort of gradually expand my Tim Holtz um, stamp sets because I love them. I <laughs> love them. This is Curiosities. Curiosities. And there are two stamps on here that I think I want to use. I actually want to use this. Is like um, uh, probably from a dictionary. What Curiosity is. Yeah. So I'm going to use this. And well... A ruler with numbers a ruler with numbers and this one so um this one i'm going to use the lightest color which is a uh, pumice stone now i don't have a stamp block this big do i i have a taller one somewhere ah, sort of it sort of would work so the lighter color i do want to have this sort of um straight doesn't need to go all the way like so you can have it like so i'm not gonna have it diagonally or i want to have it sort of straight yeah and uh, in the background so don't press too hard just i'm hoping you can see this just some interesting numbers in the faint in the background another one here yes and we're gonna stamp over this yeah Eventually, we will stamp over this. I'm also going to have it a little bit um, over here. And some here. This hardly shows up, but that's okay. It's going to be interesting uh, to see how it will work out. So, pumice stone. For this one, I'm using... Hickory smoke. Hickory smoke. Come on, hickory smoke. Work with me, love. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, love this. Love this. Now, this is text. I do not want to have the text upside down. However, I can have it like so. No worries. See? No worries at all. Maybe a bit off the page. Yeah. Mm 
and a bit here on the bottom. I have one, two, three, four, and another one there. I am trying to find some blank spots, but uh, it's okay, guys, to um, overlap it. Overlapping is a good thing in this case. Yeah. Okay. What else? Um, next color. So these are going to be a little bit bolder. So the prints on them are going to be a little bit bolder. Another stamp set that I haven't used. Dapper. Love this and this. So I'm going to use this piece. Well, I love everything. But for this one, I mean, these are more sort of statement ones. Yeah. And I want to have on the moss. So I'm not going to use these uh, for this project. Okay. Um, this is a very big one. Do I have a big one? No, this is the biggest one. So I'm using the biggest one. Okay. Uh, before I stamp it on, because it's, uh, stamp it on, it's a very big one. I want to sort of see. Um, well, this is a great blank spot. So I'm going to have one here. I'm just going to do this because it's very big before I stamp it on. Then I can have a piece here. Another sort of piece here. Here and here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Am I doing the right color? Yeah, I'm doing the right color. This is um, morning mist. Morning mist. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, I love this. This is this is now Tim Holtz paper. It is. I just made it into Tim Holtz paper. Don't drop your stamp block, love, because that would not be pretty. I'm going to have this here. I don't know if I want to put the other piece here. I'm going to put a piece there. Am I still in frame? Yeah. See, I'm just stamping over all the other stuff. No worries at all. Uh, maybe another piece there. These are sort of statement pieces. So uh, you, are, you are inking up the wrong part, love. There you go. Four. I actually want five. But no, don't do it. Don't do it. Know when to stop, love. I'm going to stop it right there. Uh, but I want to do some of the numbers. Again, I'm trying to sort of figure out where I want them. I think I want to have one here. I'm going to have them like so as well. Mm, don't think so. No, I don't think I want to have the numbers on its side. Because it's like the third layer needs to be straight. And one here, uh, there, here. Let's see. Don't think about it too much, love. Just put it on. But it's already so lovely, so I do not want to mess it up. Lovely space here. Yeah. Here. I have half of it there. And there.
No, that's it. That's it. Because I have another number in mind. In the same color. Let's see where it is. There are two big numbers that I want to use. The big five and the big three. Both of which came from... Um, this keeps falling out. The eccentric set from Mr. Tim Holtz. This one. Now, if you've been following me, you know this is my absolute favorite. It really is. If you're just starting out, guys, and if you want to invest in one of the Tim Holtz sets, you don't know which one. This one, for sure. It's called Eccentric CMS 448. This is my absolute favorite. If you're going to invest in more of them. Eccentric Field Notes Correspondence. If you have these three, amazing, amazing. But, you know me, I want to have all of them <laughs> eventually. So, I want to use the, the three and the five somewhere but at this point i'm also thinking about my focal point yeah that's going to be in the darkest color and i'm using uh fallen leaves for this you could use black but i want this to be a little bit more grungy vintagey so i'm using falling leaves it's a nearly black one as i mentioned i want to have the moss as well i'm gonna call them butterflies they're not butterflies but moths is not a word that i um can say easily I want to have these as my focal points, yeah? And I want them sort of, you know, in the Tim Holtz way, I want them stacked like so. See? So first off, I'm going to place them. And I might uh, change the order, guys. I might change the order of these, but I'm going to sort of place them. I want some here and some here, yeah? So I definitely want five here because I have a spot there. Uh, then I'm going to have two here. Need some on the bottom here. One. Two big ones. Let's have sort of two big ones here. Two here. And also... One, two, three. You want something? Ooh, half off. Yes, half off the page. Let's have two here. Yeah, I'm not going to stamp over this with the, the butterflies. Well, also need a big five here. Do we want one on the on the bottom here? Then they're lined up. I don't want stuff to line up. I'm definitely going to have this here then. And then something else. Something else there. I'm thinking two here. One here. But then a big one. Yeah. How about this? How about this? Yeah. I could just stamp them on. I know. But I want to do it in the right order. So now I'm doing the five. There's a five that needs to go here, a five that needs to go here, it needs to go here. I also want it here, so this needs to be a little bit up. I'm trying to avoid straight lines, can you tell? You probably can. Do we want this half off? We're going to have this half off, yeah. Okay, start stamping. Start stamping. I'm going to start stamping. Sorry guys, but I, I sort of wanted to... Um, Take you to my, uh, through my, oh, it fell on now. Thought process, well, it worked. It worked. Don't line it up with that one, so I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. This needs to be moved aside. When I bought Eccentric, I was like, I am going to use the five so much. Uh, hardly ever used it. <laughs> Um, here, yeah. It's going to line up. Not unless I put it a little bit higher. Yeah. 
small piece here. Just the top of it. You won't even see that it is a five. Okay. Enough with the five already. I think it's best to put the focal point on now and then fill in sort of the in-betweens with some other stuff, right? Because I do need... Maybe I should sort of move this over here. Yeah. I can do another three here. Yes. Let's do these, but for this... I'm going to use the fallen leaves. I am going to go back with this one, guys, because we need some, we need some breeze. Yay for all my stamp blocks. I did it like so, guys, uh, because I really want it to be very pretty. And I don't want to make any mistakes because I already love it so much. So, um, yes, I looked at it a couple of times. There are now a couple of sort of spots that need something. We need something here and we need something here. Yeah. I could do a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Some smaller ones, but definitely some with, um, you know, the number three here and uh, here and probably, here, I don't know, here. And then and then, and then there's something there. But first the moss, because I think that's the most important. I'm taking out um, fallen leaves, starting in the middle. I'm leaving everything on, guys. could not take a picture or anything so I'm leaving everything on taking this out of the way yes and I want these to be straight ish oh, I'm hoping this will work I think it will but you never know fantastic yes okay and this one next don't you just love the color It's actually my favorite color to stamp with. Um, here, right? Did I do it here? Well, you're going to do it now. There we go. It's amazing. I just love it so much, so much. And this one is also completely on the page. Don't drop it. It's absolutely fantastic. I need my piece of paper. Where is it? Well, it's here. So I want to have this half of the page. There we go. Fantastic. And this one. Yeah. Checking if I'm still in frame. It's a large piece, guys. It's 12 by 12. Oh, I missed a spot here. That's okay. Don't look at it. I missed a spot. That's too bad. And this one. Fantastic. I'm missing something here. I don't know if I need to put any more of these there. Because they will line up and too close together. No. So I'm going to put a something there. I'm going to put a something there. Don't know what yet. I have way too much blank spot here. So I've taken out Mr. Pointy Finger. And I'm thinking to, to put Mr. Pointy Finger here and the three here.
but am I going to do it in a darker color? I think so. I think so. So I'm going to put them here and here. Then, <clears throat> do I have a spot for Mr. Pointy Finger here? Oh, here. Yeah, here. And then the three there. Here, there, here, there. Just put them on, love. Put them on. It's going to be fine. I'm thinking about this way too much. And that's because I really love it already and I do not want to mess it up. So this is going to be here. There you go, Mr. Pointy Finger. Yeah. Then the tree is going to be here. Doesn't need to be completely full off. There. Yes, and then I do not drop it. I want to miss the pointy finger here. And we still have so lots of blank space here. Um, here. Yes. The three there. Yeah. Is that too close? Make up your mind, love. Yeah, I know. Another one here. Need another three. Okay, <clears throat> I need one more thing here. Do we need another? Can we just stack this uh, four? Oh, well, of course you can. Do we have a smaller one? Well, that's the exact same one, maybe. And that's this one. <laughs> one that you haven't used. Well, not in this row. Oh yeah, let's just do four. Yeah, let's break all the rules and do four. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Are we done? I think so. I have a little bit of a blank space here and here. Well, it's okay, love. It's okay. I think I think we're done, guys. I love it. Isn't it great? Yeah. I'm going to look at it for a couple more minutes and see if it needs anything else. But I don't think so. Took me a couple of minutes. What did I add? Um, I I put one of those here in the in the lighter color. It just it was too big of a blank space i put a part of a three here and a part of a three here was that it i think that's it oh and have a mr pointy finger here and here and i love it this looks like very expensive beautiful tim holtz scrapbook paper yeah it isn't but it's lovely are you up for another one loves yeah i'm gonna clean up my hands clean up my stamps clean up my desk and let's do another one. Found another piece of paper. This is a little bit lighter than the than the last one. Has some more white in it. But we're going to try. I'm going to use the same uh, colors. However, um, I'm going to switch it up a little bit with the background. Um, I want to use this one. Yeah. What was this? This was from Stamperia. I'm going to use the same Gumiapan. And uh, one of the Tem Holtz. This Tem Holtz set set 53 i did buy it for these two not at all for this one but i'm gonna try it and i'm also going to limit myself to one set i was looking through my sets for a focal point and well he's a focal point for sure i keep calling him the inventor actually it is the inspector but he's my inventor he looks like an alfred okay so i'm just using these these and then the same colors, same colors. And we're going to start with, uh, well, with the background. Pumice stone with this one. Yeah, I might sort of get my lost shadow out. 
it because this might be too wide and I might sort of try to maybe 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 let's start with the first layer with the stenciling let's see how this one works it's sort of a brick or not even like stone cobblestone I don't know something a something there you go oh it's lovely though yeah Gonna do some light in the middle. Oh, that worked. That worked fantastically. Yeah. This. Bit over here. We want some of the page. Let's take out a piece of paper underneath. yeah it is already a little bit darker around the edges this paper i went through my stash guys and actually i found so many of the same designs in different pads it's ridiculous yes well that's why they're very they're very cheap they don't really design they just you know they pick out random stuff uh do we have enough well we have enough of this one I'm guessing yeah um let's do the oh let's do these ones i don't think i want these in a darker color so i'm gonna try this color don't know for sure guys i'm just gonna try it because i like them in the background but yeah i don't think i'm gonna do these in a darker color just in the lighter color i should have flipped them like so yeah i like pluses more then excess. <laughs> well, too bad because now they're all excess and not pluses. Yeah, and one little bit more over here. Okay, for the, um, the coffee stains, this one I am going to use the darker color, hickory smoke. Where's the lid? It is here. Okay, let's see. Yes, I'm using the same brush. I don't want to have 17 different brushes for grey. It's grey. It's there. It's fine. I heard somebody say you cannot mix up the Distress Oxides and the Distress Inks. I Well, I'm trying not to do this. <laughs> so I'm not um, switching between the two different... Oh, isn't that one lovely? I'm not switching between the two inks. I'm going to go a little bit lighter in the middle um, because it is lighter in the middle. So I want to keep it um, keep it as such. Yeah, but on the corners we can go a little bit darker. Yeah, that works fine. A little more here. Who knew, right, that I was doing this? Yeah. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. You could do stuff with structure paste. I was thinking about... Guys, I actually thought about structure paste this morning. Uh, let me in on a little secret. I made... I took out some because I bought some. And I did... Some, but I did it wrong. Because um, it's white. And I wanted to have a uh, wanted it to have a little bit of color. So what did I do? I mixed it up with a little bit of the stress spray things that I also never used, but I have some. So I mixed it up, and then it became too thin, and it was more like paint. So it didn't really work anymore. And I'm not one for you know spraying on it with water and then <laughs> you know the stuff that Barbara does. And no, it's it's just not me. It's just not me. I need a little bit more in the middle. There we go. Okay, could be done. Yes, we're not. Because now we're going to start the stamping. I am limiting myself to this set. Um, this is going to be a background stamp. This is going to be the focal point. Yeah. Uh, with the other one, with the moss, what I did, I started with the focal point at a later date. I'm going to do this 
as a second layer because I really want to figure out what goes where. But first this one. It's a big stamp. I'm going to use um, the hickory smoke for this. Yeah. And I'm not going to use a stamp block. No. I'm just going to use do this. See? It needs to be sort of faint and not like so. It would be nice if it was a little bit straighter, love. Yes, I'm going to try to do it a little bit straighter. There you go. Also, some on the edges. There. On the top. There. A little bit here. And then... Uh, is this the top? Yeah. Yes, yeah, starts with ABC, love. You know, alphabet. Did you not watch Sesame Street when you was younger? There you go. Okay. Ooh, busy. Lots on here. Well, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay. Now, now I'm going in with... With Alfred. I'm just going to sort of gauge. I'm going to have Alfred here. I'm going to sort of repeat him here. Here, 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 and here. We're going to start here. Okay, I'm going to go in straight with the darkest color, the fallen leaves one. There you go, Alfred. Let's have him on straight. Fantastic. Need to scooch it in. Okay, what was the next one, guys? Don't drop it. Here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to repeat in like it's sort of a patterned paper. Yeah. Okay. I want only his mustache to be on the top. <laughs> Your eyes are going to be on the bottom, Alfred, so don't worry. I'm going to uh, switch it out, guys. Um, don't line it with this one. I'm just going to put a little bit sort of over here. Yeah. Okay. Just one eye there. A little bit up towards the top. Oh, look at me peeking in. And it's going to peek out on the bottom as well and here. Okay. Yeah. And then the other eye. The other eye. Um, a little bit lower. Did I miss spot? But that's okay. Yeah. Lots of Alfreds on here. But it's going to be fine. Going to be fine. Okay. Uh, I will go uh, come back with this color. But now I want to use um, this color. And I'm going to take out a big circle. This one. What is it? It's like a um, gauge for something French. Yes. With stuff on it. I honestly don't know, guys. So for sure I'm going to have some here. One here. One here. There, there, but for sure here. Have it the right side up. 
well, I believe this is the right side up. Uh, a little bit more. Over here. Yes. Then one. Over there, straight on the top of his head, but that's okay. One down here in the corner. I love um, stamping circles in corners. Look at it, guys. It just, see, it makes it look really interesting. So I really like this. Um, I'm going to have a piece of it over there. Is that the right piece? Yeah. Yes, and then this, there. Great. Yeah, also have the light bulb. I'm going to do the light bulb in the same color. And the text bits, this one and these two. I don't, I'm not going to use these. Probably not going to use these, don't think so, but... Probably not going to use those. Another stamp block. There you go. One. Two. Three. Now, part of it. Four. Part of it here. Go away, stamp. Yeah. Bottom part. Here. Do we need like a small bulby there? Or, or you're done with this one. Or you're done with this one, love. Yeah. Okay. What else do we have? This one. Forfeit move if you are, it looks, note, forfeit move if you do not wish to change. It looks like a, a rule of a game or something. I don't know. Uh, random. Completely random. And there. And there. Here on the bottom, and there. Okay, next one. Next, see now we're getting the hang of it. I have surface something something. Let's have a small block. I prefer um, using small stamp blocks. It, they're just sort of better to handle for me. For some reason. These are way easier to place. Let's have something half on here. There. And maybe here. I have another one. I have another one with numbers. Do you? <clears throat> yes, register something, something. Blank space. Blank space. I think we're done, guys. Yeah? I think we are. 
do we maybe want to use this one and then in the lighter color because i do love this it's clubs right is this called clubs well uh, we call it clover <laughs> because it's a clover clubs yeah yeah spades spades diamonds hearts clubs yeah i do play cards Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Let's have some clubs here and there. <laughs> Maybe we should also have spades on. So it would make more sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing the hearts. Because that's just cheesy. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's have the clubs on. There we go. We can find more blank spots. Now we're done. We're done. Love it. Let's look at the end result. I absolutely adored making these. I loved it so much. I made two of them <laughs> off camera because it was like, I have all my stamps out. I have all my uh, paper pads out. I, I'm, so I made four in total. We started out with this one. I love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> it looks like scrapbook paper, right? Like a beautiful design. What was on the other side? Flowers. That's okay. Flowers. Yeah. So enjoyed it. Uh, so I made another one off camera, guys. Sort of, the, sort of the same, but not with Mr. Pointy fin Finger. And I wanted to use um, some of the bugs. Now there are a couple of things on here that I would change. I would not put this um, between here. I think that is a bit much. Yeah. So I would change this one out. What else would I change? Well, mostly this one. I'm not really happy with this one over here, but the rest of it. It's just really cute. Yeah. I like bugs, guys. I'm I'm not against bugs. It's just stamps. Yeah. And then we made Alfred. Love it. Love it, Alfred. It's so it this looks to me like real uh sort of design paper. Yeah, because it's sort of a almost like a repeated pattern on it. Not really, but you know. Love it. And also made it on a slightly darker uh paper. And a little bit less a busy so i don't know which one i like better i just love both of them love both of them this could be in a paper pad i'm going to make my own paper pad well you cannot because you know you're using mr holt's stuff yeah so guys um i love doing this i hope you liked it i i really enjoyed making this now as i mentioned i have a gazillion more of these paper pads and some of them have is pink and light blue and what have you. And I also have some floral stamps and cutesy ones. Do you want me to make some cutesy ones? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, well, I enjoyed it. Uh, but people are probably going to ask me, what are you going to use them for? What do you use scrapbook paper for? Yeah? Use it as it, you would use scrapbook paper. So make uh, lovely pockets with them, folders, uh, journal covers, what have you, what have you. It's just amazing. I'm just going to hoard it, of course. I'm going to hoard it for a while. No, I cannot scan it, guys. It's with its existing paper. So copyright and then the Tim Holt stamps copyright. So I'm so sorry. I cannot scan it and share it. I would love to, but I cannot okay guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i'll be back again tomorrow what's tomorrow is it thursday i believe so yeah i believe so uh unfortunately my stamps i'm waiting for more tim holt stamps with the the poster stamp because i really want to make this hopefully it's going to be in tomorrow or otherwise friday so i'll be back again tomorrow with another project hoping to see you then bye guys